when Viewer Recipe Month delivers an outstanding sounding recipe for homemade baked beans, who are we to say no? Dylan Miles, 5552, I suppose Dylan Miles is really his name, submitted this recipe and we looked at it and we were like, Mmm, let's think about this. Molasses, bourbon, brown sugar, barbecue sauce, a shit ton of bacon. How could we not make this? And so Dylan, we're not just making it, but because you sent the recipe in, you're getting a Sam the Cooking Guy knife. Yeah! Thank you very much. Hey, reach out to us at infothecookingguy.com. We'll make sure you're you, and we know you when we see you and we will be sending you a knife directly. Look, this goes together really quick, goes in the oven about an hour-ish, and then, oh boy, we're in bean baked heaven. First things first, Dylan tells us to chop 24 ounces of applewood bacon into thin strips, put it in a pot and cook it. Oh, come on, I really imagine that would be, there you go. By the way, a couple tips along the way, ladies and gentlemen, when you write out a recipe, you generally put the ingredients in the order that they'll be used. Dylan's first ingredient were the beans, Second ingredient were the bacon, and according to the recipe instruction, we're gonna cook this on medium heat until most of the fat has been rendered, then we'll take it out, carry on. And when the bacon has rendered most of its fat, there's no direction for crispy, not crispy, wibbly. The bacon at this point, for me, is the way I would like it in beans, so I'm gonna call it done enough for me, and I will remove it with a slotted spoon. And if you find some sticking to the bottom, no worries, we'll deal with that in a future step. Just get out as much as you can. Okay, let's call that good. Dylan says next to leave enough grease in the pan, and that, hmm, a couple tablespoons in there. I'm gonna be okay with that. So next will go the onions that are actually not next on the list. They're about five things down. That's okay. One large Vidalia onion, if you can find it. If not, one large yellow onion. In like that. Cook for a few minutes until softened. Just give it a good stir so grease hits everybody. So you can see the grease that was in there is mostly gone now. So it wasn't too much. And when the onions look like this, it's time for some garlic. Look, if there was grease in here still, you could just throw it in, but it's a little dry. So make a little space, throw a little bit of oil in, and I've got six cloves of minced garlic, just like that. And you know the drill at this point. When it gets fragrant, we'll mix it in and then move on. And that's now. Here's the fun part of the recipe. See all the stuff on the bottom? We know how important that is. We're gonna deglaze now with a half a cup of bourbon. Look, if you didn't want to use the alcohol, you could probably use a little beef stock would be fine in here. Chicken stock, vegetable stock, even water. Though, honestly, everything else will be better. So give this a second, and as it's in there, you want to do this and scrape what's on the bottom because that will just add tremendous flavor. But you got to get it off the bottom first by doing this. All right, let it bubble away for a minute. And we're ready for more. That looks great and it smells amazing. So here we go with some fun stuff. The bacon comes back in like that. Wow, it's fantastic. A cup of molasses, so that's gonna be two of these. I do not use molasses very often. It looks so cool. It's great, it's isn't it? Out. Maple syrup, recipes below. Don't fret about writing anything down. Oh, a shit ton of barbecue sauce. And now the beans. And here's where I have to put Dylan on the carpet for a second because he calls for four 15 ounce cans of navy beans, which you can also use cannellini beans, but he didn't say drained. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put two cans in undrained and two in drained. And these are cannellini. But you fear that it was a mistake? I don't know if it was a mistake. Generally a recipe would say drained or undrained. So when he doesn't specify, you leave it up to the recipe maker and what does that mean? I don't want too much liquid, so I'm gonna drain these next two. And if it's wrong, Dylan, send the knife back when you get it. Now this we will mix. Oh boy, Oberto, look at this. Actually, Dylan, you know this recipe is gonna be on the website, so when you see it, reach out, let us know if it's supposed to be drained or undrained and I'll correct it. I don't think I'm making any terrible mistakes by doing it this way. And when this is all mixed, damn, are these gonna be good, I think. One more ingredient, half a cup of barbecue rub, and I'm using the sweet hot rub we've used before, it's on the website. In fact, it's in the uh, next cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy and the Holy Grail. And that will go, I want this to come through just a quick little bubble. Come on. Oh, 
And when it looks like that, one more stir. See how liquidy they are. We want that to go away. So these now will go into a 425 oven. Uh, Dylan says an hour, two hours, it's all good. Doesn't say covered. Generally, I would cover them for about an hour and then uncover them for maybe half an hour. So let's do that. In any case, when you see them next, We'll be eating them. In case you've forgotten, tomorrow, March 12th, Sam the Cooking Guy and the Holy Grail comes out. And why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because you have a day left to pre-order the book. I want you to have the book. But if you pre-order it, not only will you get two video recipes not from the book, but you'll also be entered to win a complete set of Cooking Guy knives. That's worth almost $900. And forget the money. They're just fantastic. Hit the link below. Get the book. Get in before midnight today, March 11th. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody who's pre-ordered because the book is sitting at the number one position in new releases in barbecuing and grilling. Me, this kid, did it. So get the book. You have to register that you've pre-ordered before midnight on March 11th. That's today. If this is March 11th for you, if it's not, then well, just go get the book anyway. And after a couple hours, wow, look what has happened here. Let me get this off the thing for you, boys. I don't know if you have a sense of the caramelization that's happened here. The molasses and brown sugar have just done wonderful things for that. Wonderful. Look at this. Like, I was worried about the amount of liquid in this. I gave it 45 minutes covered, and then about another 45-ish uncovered. And look at that. Look at this. Well, lads, let's bowl her up. And in we go with our ladle. <laughs> So I can't know how thick or not thick Dylan intended this to be. Never made this before, but I'm telling you, it looks picture perfect. And then beans always need like a little hit of green onion for me. Come on, come on, folks. Give me an effing break. I have a suggestion. Every day is viewer recipe day. Wait, missing one thing. A little piece of grilled bread to go with it because why the hell not? And we bite. You can just smell the molasses goodness. Mm. Mm. Oh, the spice in this. The spice is from the hot sweet rub that the recipe will be low. Dylan said you could put this on the smoker for a couple hours too. I don't think it needs it. Honestly, there's enough smokiness in this from everything that went into it, including that spice. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. But the real thing to do would be that. And I will do this off camera because these boys are waiting to have some. So just let me remind you, this came to us courtesy of Dylan. Dylan now, because he sent it, will get a Sam the Cooking Guy knife. Dylan, every video for the month of March, view a recipe. If we make yours, you get a knife. And you want us to make yours because you want a knife. And we want your recipes. Comment below, March colon full recipe. Understandable? I hope so. See ya. Mm-hmm.